Very good. Thank you, Pete. Okay, we're in Abbeville. We got to end with some mouth watering treats. You're looking at one of these South Carolina chef ambassador, Erica Messier, aka Chef Trudy. <laughs> <laughs> chef, tell me a little bit about your, your background. Well, I was born and raised here in Abbeville County. Um, so I've been here all my life, with the exception of when I went off to college. Um, I taught middle school yes. for 10 years. Oh, that's a tough to teach. That's, yeah, uh -huh. it is. That's, yes. And I just decided to change careers, and it just kind of happened by accident. Really? Yes. That I, is hilarious. Going from a middle school <laughs> teacher to a famous chef. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well, when I was teaching middle school, I actually developed kidney disease, so I had to stop oh, teaching. Oh, no. yeah. And while on dialysis, I gravitated towards watching a lot of food shows. Yeah. And I just kind of started watching um, Good Eat. Yes. Um, all the time. Right. And, and I fell in love with it. So I just decided to Google culinary schools near me. Greenville Tech popped up. Next thing you know, dialysis three days a week, driving to Greenville two days a week and taking classes. Chef, you know what I mean? Like you took a situation, <laughs> dialysis is not, uh, that's not a good time. That's, that's no, like, that, not. That could have been a very low point. And you're like, instead of sitting here feeling sorry for myself, I'm going to, let's do Let's, let's see, let's uh, use this as time to learn something right. new. I mean, I was bored with life, you know, right. because I was very active and I was just so bored with life. And I just wanted a hobby. This yes. was supposed to be a hobby. It was never supposed to be a career. You cooked too good. <laughs> you, you cooked too good. Tell us about some of the amazing things that you brought for us this morning. So I brought three of our, I guess you say our famous dishes or our yes. most popular dishes. Uh -huh. um, one being the sole roll, which is a spring, deep fried spring roll yes. with seasoned collard greens and black mm. eyed peas. I love it how you take a traditional like roll and you're like, we're going to southernize yes, it. And yes. yes. And unlike the traditional gumbo that you get from New Orleans, uh -huh. we have a black eyed pea gumbo. Oh my gosh. You really get, you, you, you're embracing, you know, what we have here. Yes. And then um, our last dish, of course, is a gator and grits. Ooh, gator? Yep. Like real gator real meat? Real gator, alligator tail meat. Girl, where do you get that from? <laughs> like, you know, like we, we need to go into the kitchen and see, and see those. But tell us the, the name of your restaurant. The name of my restaurant is Indigenous Underground. How long have you been doing that for? When did you open it? It will be three years on July 26th. I mean, and you're right around the mm -hmm. corner too. I mean, it's seriously, like she's coming from her yeah. restaurant with the food. Why do you think people, you know, gravitate so much to it? Cause like, I mean, you're, you're, you're well known. Everybody wants some of this. Like, you know, how did, how did that happen? I think they're always looking for me to do something different, different. you know, with that Southern twist. Yes. And um, that's kind of like what I wrecked my brain on. Yeah. How can I make this dish more I guess southernized. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If that's a word. If that's a word, girl. You know? That's a word. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I just like to take the ingredients that I grew up off of yes. and just put a little twist on them. A little twist. Are you always changing it up, or can we always most likely find these on the menu? I think I'll get ran out of Abbeville if I okay. take these off the menu. <laughs> so boy. these these have to stay. They have on to the stay. Menu. So you're always gonna get yes. them. What are your hours and stuff? Because y'all, she's not open every day. She's no. busy. Uh huh. I, uh, we open on um, Thursday through Sunday. Now, Thursday through Saturday, it's lunch and dinner. Okay. 11 to 2.30 and then 5.30 to 9 o'clock. And we do Sunday brunch. Yes. From 10.30 to 2.30. I love it. And do you do catering? Yes. Uh-huh. Is catering. that like your baby? I feel like that's kind of like your baby baby, too. Well, that's I started uh -huh. off as a caterer yes. while on dialysis, too. Yes. I opened my first oh business my gosh. Um, as a caterer and um, personal chef. Gosh, see, this yeah. just goes to show no matter what you're going through in life, there is another end to stick it out. You never yeah. know what could happen. It was so nice to meet you in person. Thank and, you, you know, you uh, we didn't even mention the uh, SE Chef Ambassador. That's kind of a big <laughs> deal, too. So we hope we have given you a little taste of Abbeville. It is such a great town. Come by, meet all the people that we have introduced you to today. They are great people in a great city. Thank so you. you have a great weekend, Chef. We appreciate it. We will see you live back in Greenville Monday morning. So have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye.